Hi everyone, this is Terry, and today I want to cover a topic that is in our manual, and the topic is how to reshape objects or change them either into stitches, outlines, or blocks, and we're going to start out with text, and I want to show you the page of the manual that I'm talking about. If you choose help, you can look at like comparison of types of data created in PE Design 11. I'm relatively new to PE Design 11. I got this with my Luminaire about a month ago. And one of the things that did not make sense to me because I use other software packages and the way that they treat uh, stitches or there may be more object based, let me put it that way. And the way they operate is different than what is MPE Design 11. So it took me a, a little bit of time to understand this. If you look at the types of data, you have a stitch pattern. And a stitch file is like a PES file. And when you have a stitch file, you can do the least amount of changes to it because it is a stitch file. Like you'll notice in some software such as Floriani, which I do not have, when a file is created it, it, and you save it, I think it says a WAF file, it holds all the attributes. And that means it's all the editing and everything that you can do with that file. In Bernina software, it's an EMB file. And even in BES4, you have what's called, I think it's a BRF file. These are, are files that keep all the attributes so that you can go back and re-edit them. When you have a stitch file, you have the least ability to edit it. And if you have shapes or patterns or objects, you have the most ability to make changes. So if you scroll down on this page, it gives you this graph, which, I mean, honestly, I could, I, I, my eyes were crossed by the time I followed it. I, I do understand what they're doing, but I really didn't understand the way that they were showing me how to do it. But it'll tell you, and we're going to start with text, that you can edit text by enter, entering and deleting characters, specifying the text attributes, such as the font or transformation shape, and you can specify sewing attributes. But you can change text to either a stitch pattern, where you can reshape nodes, or split characters in, in, uh, on the stitch pattern, or you can change it to a shape. And when you change it to a shape, you have the ability to do so much more to it. And that includes change the ability to add offset lines and to reshape things. So let me just show you some examples that I've created. Right here I have uh, the letter B, which is text. And I know it's text because I see at the top of my screen that I have my text tab and I can tell that that tab is uh, available, so I can select it. Let me try to move my screen a little bit so all of it's in the window. Okay, now when you have text, you can add your line properties. You can change your region properties, but you need to realize with text, if you make it so large that the satin stitches may not look good, and for that reason, you might want to change them to a fill or programmable fill stitch. Uh, you can convert it to blocks, convert it to stitch stitches, and you can edit your text. When you have text, you notice that your sewing attribute tab does have the ability to add under sewing, to change the density, half stitches, pull compensation, and connection points. And by the way, if you don't see all this on your screen, you may have the beginner mode. Just change it to expert mode. Even if you're like me and you're new to the software, consider yourself an expert. Okay, you can look at the uh, text attribute tab. You can change it by changing the alignment, and you can transform it, and you can do a host of things as far as it relates to text itself. Now, if you convert it to stitches, we'll go to this middle one. Once you convert it to stitches, the text tab is gone. And you have the ability to change the nodes, 
by selecting the nodes and that I've already done that you can see three stitches that are pulled out you can split the stitches and in other words you can cut them in half and split it or you convert it to box and you can convert it to outlines I'll show a separate video on just stitches so that you can see it in fact I'll, I'll probably show a separate video on each of these because it takes a while to talk about them but once it's a stitch, notice the sewing attributes. It's blank. That means you cannot do as much with it. You can change the color, and it's no longer text, so you don't have a text attribute. Now let's look at, let's go back and select our text again, and assume that what we're going to do is we're going to convert to block. So blocks down in the lower right hand corner, and let's look at it. When you convert to box, you have the ability to change the type of stitches again. And in this case, I have a chain stitch with the satin stitch. I cannot change text attributes. I can change some of the sewing attributes. In fact, you probably we'll see more sewing attributes because it now is no longer text and it's not a stitch. It is a shape. And I have more abilities because it is a shape. But because it is block, I can convert it to stitches, but I cannot create offsets, floral patterns, or region to line. Now let's look at the last option. The last option for this text is to convert it to an outline. And I've converted the bottom uh, um, design to an outline. And because it is an outline, I can convert it to stitches. I can create offsets. I can create a floral pattern and I can convert it to region line. And I also have the ability to change all the things in the sewing attributes that I had before. Now, let me just briefly cover one of the things on outline. And again, I'll, I'll have a much longer video that will cover when you break it into stitches, when you convert it to blocks, blocks will be the shorter of them. And then when you convert it to outline, all the things that you can do when you convert something to outline. You notice with it converted to outline, you see so many other options that are on the shape tab for it. So let me open up another file that I've already created. And even though I can't spell example, this is text right here. I know it's text because I have the text tab. And what I did is I converted the letter B to an outline and you can go to the shape and you can see you can create offsets and that's what I did I created an offset from that and this is the offset that I could create uh, let me go ahead and d delete this offset by going to home and let me select it and now that it's selected, I'll delete it so I can show you how I did that. So on the shape, I changed that to a programmable fill stitch because if I want to make this character much, much larger, let's say I want to create something that is very uh, nice on the back of a jacket or something, and let me delete this letter B. And we'll move this more to the center. Perhaps one of the things I want to do is to add some offset lines. So we'll go to shapes and we'll create offset lines and I want them to be outward. You could do inward, but it really wouldn't make much sense possibly on this B. And let me go ahead and, and tell it I want two lines. And now that I've created those offsets, I can do something different to those offsets. So let me go ahead and select everything and let's go to the offset. I'm choosing the selection key and shapes and we will make sure that we add some attributes to it. It's a no sew line. So that's why it has a dotted line. I had to sit here and think for a minute, why do I have a dotted line and I can't do anything with it? Well, let's change it to a chain stitch. Now that I've done that, I can actually see it under my sewing order. And so you can see that it has the that, that attribute not only on the outside of the bee, on the inside of the bee, 
and it also has it on the outside on the offset lines. So I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about the types of data in PE design. This is related to text. I will cover um, more on the convert to stitch and offset and floral patterns and other videos. But I, the next recording is going to be about stitches and what you can do with stitches. Thank you very much and have a good day.